Welcome to Overlo Farm on Norungezi, Zimbabwe. Thank you to our returning subscribers. Please share, please like us, please leave your comments. Anything that you see that generates a bit of discussion, this is the time and opportunity for us to sort of strengthen our and share knowledge and share good practice. Also an opportunity to learn from those women who are experts in some of these fields. We really appreciate your time. Uh, this is a typical end of day at Overlo. Uh, the guys have been busy doing all sorts, uh, managing the cattle and managing the chickens and goats. And everything seems to be running well. Um, today we have just put in an additional supply of uh, uh, chicks. Uh, this is with a view to just sort of improve our flock uh, in terms of quality because uh, we've just acquired uh, these chicks from one of our local guy, Terry. Uh, a place known as Terry that is in Morondorangez near Tef. It's quite good quality chicks and we are hoping that it will sort of infuse a bit of quality within our flock. Um, so this is one of the things that we do, we try and support each other as uh, people who are in the same business, similar business, trying to improve the while at the same time we are improving in terms of uh, the quality of our flocks. At the early stage of their arrival, these chicks, we gave them a strike pack, stress, stress pack and we also introduced the Alistair, uh, which is a sort of uh, a broad spectrum antibiotic just to prevent any underlying problems. This is with a view to sort of improve and to reduce mortality. One of the reasons we introduced Alistrol is that uh, it is, it's a highly effective combination of both spectrum antibiotic and vitamins. And the product stimulates egg production, increases growth, improves feed conversion, and used as a vitamin supplement during periods of disease and stress. It is effective against gastrointestinal, respiratory, neural infections caused by cholesterol, oxytetracycline, erythromycin and streptomycin, sensitive microorganisms. Primamed can also be used as a subject which is again an antibiotic against the ground positive and ground negative bacteria and coccidiosis. It's part of the reinvesting into, into our farm. Because of late we have been having challenge with uh, the egg production and uh, also the management of chicks. But then it's one thing that we're going to sort of address in due course. I thought I'll sort of share these ideas and sort of we can have some form of discussions about these issues. For those who are more knowledgeable in this area, it would be good for you to leave your comments down below. Again, like I always say, to generate some discussions, to share best practices and best not those of who have got better knowledge on these areas. Those who are in agritex, please, it's, this is an opportunity for you to share your expertise. Thank you. One of the things that we have also figured out is the space in which our chicks are sort of on a protein after hatching and that it hasn't been adequate enough. So here we are just trying to create an additional sort of uh, additional housing at the early stages of their introduction onto the farm. And this is well aerated and also warm enough uh, so, that the, so that the beds are not sort of stressing. Uh, these we are making by ourselves using the uh, machinery that is available, equipment that is sort of relevant to this sort of thing. That's why I sort of in one of the videos I pointed out it is important that we acquire uh, stuff that will enable us to uh, do things uh, quite much quicker. This is a typical stapler, you just would, what you need, you need a stapler, uh, uh, a drill, uh, your, your saw, and things like that to just make a makeshift yeah. uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money on this it's just a piece of wood uh, which you could sort of just convert and create as well, a decent uh, shelter for the chicks um, which gives them enough space enough space to move around and uh, so that they are not sort of stamping on each other and one of the things that we also looked at is our the egg production and we sort of figure out one of the reasons why egg production may sort of uh, reduce is due to maybe diseases such as worms, stress maybe from the weather changes. Uh, and if the beds are not fitting properly, they may lose weight beyond the optimum weight of 1.5 kilograms required for beds to lay eggs. And failure to eat can also result in a weakened immune system, hence the beds will be prone to disease attacks. 
So it is one of the things that we have always considered at Ovalo Farm. You may need to give egg production supplements and boosters to stimulate egg production again. Use breeder, Vita Boost, Nemovite, Intro Cheek, and Amino Grow. These are all used uh, to sort of try and enhance egg production. Yeah, one of the things that can be done is you, can, is you can crush and put aloe vera in drinking water. Increase the light even up to 16 hours a day as light triggers a hen's pituitary glands to produce eggs. So these are some of the things that we try and consider, we try and share with um, some of the people who are affiliated to what we are doing, especially in terms of having road runners or free range chickens. Um, hey. One of the things that we're going to also adopt is uh, we're going to try and grow our in the next season, maximize on the rain so that at least we've got a uh, protein diet for our feeds which we can sort of uh, combine hey. with, the, with hey. the grains that we've got. Uh, to sort of give them a rich, okay. rich diet. This in essence also helps in increasing egg production and to egg production for us means more eggs, means more chicks and we'll be able to, in, in due course, be able to be supplying chicks and uh, helping our community grow as well. As, as you know, chickens they grow so fast and it's an opportunity, an investment opportunity for the people within our community. Uh, because we believe in, in supporting each other in the same community so that people can grow and sustain themselves using the resources that are available and the knowledge that is within us. Yeah, so for us, uh, the issue around uh, high mortality on the chicks, I mean, we are really truly on it and we are really on fire. Like I said, we, we, we try and sort of keep the broad spectrum antibiotics on, on, on the stock just in case we've got any outbreaks of diseases. Recently, we have also had to vaccinate against uh, an eye problem that was sort of developing where the chicks were developing this growth in their eyes. Uh, but then this was sort of picked up well in time and we were able to sort of get a vaccine and sort of uh, yeah. treat them. So these are the things that you find on the farm. You've got to be sensitive to whatever is happening. Be observant. Yeah. Monitor how the beds are as, they, as you put yeah. them out and see if there are any weaklings one that are okay. not feeding, that are not sort of thriving. And then separate them, quarantine them, and then give them the necessary boosters, uh, any medicines that to help them sort of rejuvenate their health. Um, our, chick our chickens are grouped in different sizes, uh, as you can see. Um, but then we are hoping that this uh, flock is going to be in its numbers in due course. So you keep your, you keep your eyes posted on uh, Ovalo Farm. We've got big things coming in store and it's important for you to share any ideas. Uh, for those who have not already subscribed, please consider to subscribe. Please share and please provide your comments on any areas that you think we could improve and to sort of uh, enhance our practice. Because it is all about sharing knowledge. Uh, they say a little knowledge is a dangerous thing and I always say sometimes if you don't discuss what you have you may end up sort of uh, just uh, thinking that you've got the best knowledge when actually you know, it's not the best knowledge. Things are constantly changing in terms of time. There's, high, um, there's more innovative ways of, of, uh, that are being introduced now that are cutting across um, the farming sector. Uh, there's more techno and there's more food stuff that has been put on the market to try and enhance the chicken's growth. So I really appreciate it when people sort of uh, spend time to sort of tune in and to observe one another, some of these uh, issues that we do bring up and some of the issues that we also see on other people's uh, channels. It helps us to sort of improve the way we do things on the end of our farm. So the, uh, our farm is not a uh, our vision is not just, we are not blinkered, we try and take a global perspective on what we are doing. We find information that is relevant and that applies and that sort of goes along with the vision that we have. I thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe, please uh, share and please leave your comments down below. Thank you. I'm feeling a cry. I can never fall. I'm that man on the mountain top. The Lord has blessed, no man can curse I'm that man on the mountain top Whom the Lord has raised The man on the mountain top Whom the Lord has chosen as his elector oh, What better a man, the Lord has made me oh, 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 oh. What better a man, the Lord has made me I was banquet.
Kaku. My life is one way upward only The lines are falling in prison places For my good I'm on top, that's my place My life is one way forward only The lines are falling in prison places For my good I refuse to struggle Great is my name I'm seated with Christ I can never fall Refuse to struggle. That is my name. I'm seated in Christ. I can never fall. I'm that man on the mountain top whom the Lord has blessed. No man can cut. I'm that man on the mountain top whom the Lord has raised up.